Yes, dear? I... I can't sleep. Can you tell me a story? Okay, but you'll have to help me. Okay. Our story begins in a dark and twisting forest. <gasps> dark and twisting forest? And there was a young girl searching for... Her lost pet! Patches? Patches! And she found a house. <laughs> and then what happened? She must have snuck through here, but it's locked. Look, a key. Oh, we're going to be late again. Climbing down, the girl's footing slips as the ladder gives way. She begins a seemingly endless fall. Down, down, down she goes. What is happening? The fall was so long, she began to forget where she was. Or even who Where was she I going? Was. What was I doing? I, I can't even remember anymore. But at last, she spots a letter swirling past her, just out of reach. We'll return to that in a moment. But first, I must call your attention to this lovely root. It beckons you to grab it. Well done. Oh, look, it has a f good. The roots up now try to grab two at a time. Oh, just one more invitation now. Where is it hiding? Oh, it was right under my nose the whole time. Oh, finally done. Carrots! Oh. What did you do? My invitations! Where did they all go? Rabbit paperwork? Am I dreaming? I guess this is his rabbit family? Since when can rabbits read books? My wife is going to have my carrots. The last time this happened, she murdered 37 of our children. Your wife? No, the queen, of course. There's a queen that murders rabbits? The most heartless queen of hearts the world has ever known. She'll chop the head off of anyone she doesn't like. And those invitations you crashed into were for her party! Calm down. I'm sure she'll understand. I'm sure your invitations are around here somewhere. Somewhere? I don't have time for somewhere! I need to find those invitations! Wait, where are you going? As she enters the sitting room, the girl spots a curious painting on the wall. Approaching the painting, her memory starts to return. In that very moment, she recalled... Patches was a lizard. Of course. Patches was always a lizard, a disgusting creature that no one ever really liked. How could she ever forget? There's one of the Queen's invitations.
Hey, have you seen a lizard in here? Actually, a lizard just snuck through the crack below that door. But that doesn't matter now. I'm doomed. I've looked all over and I haven't found a single invitation. No, you caused this whole mess. Now you need to help me out. How? Find those invitations and get them to the Hatter in the Keep of Hearts. They're probably all right past this door. Uh, there's <clears throat> only one problem. What's that? I've... Never seen it open. But you seem to be good at going places where you don't belong. I'm sure you can figure it out. I can't reach that. Reach that. I can't reach that. That hour hand is completely useless now. All it ever does is point to those shapes. And who in their right mind would make all these clocks those same shapes? That was probably that Hatter. I tell you, he's going to go mad any day now.
You did it! Or, well, something did. The door is finally open. Now, go find those invitations. Why can't you do it? Did you see how many baby bunnies I have to keep alive? Remember, the Hatter at the Keep of Hearts. Hatches, are you in here? One more for the Hatter. Off in the distance, the girl could hear a voice mutter, clock. I'm hungry. But it seems to be stuck. And backwards. Oh, one of the White Rabbit's invitations. The far-off voice continues. I sure am hungry. The voice then clearly states, I wish the clock hands were at lunchtime so I can come up to eat. You should really move the clock hands to lunchtime. I think that'd be a good idea.
Off in the distance, the girl could hear a voice mutter, I'm hungry. The far off voice continues, I sure am hungry. The voice then clearly states, I wish the clock hands were at lunchtime so I can come up to eat. You should really move the clock hands to lunchtime. I think that'd be a good idea. party invitation. That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen.
That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. This place has a lot of crappy mirrors. How does a rabbit even get to those top shelves? Wow, rabbits sure do have a lot of children. Off in the distance, the girl could hear a voice mutter, I'm hungry. The far off voice continues, I sure am hungry. The voice then clearly states, I wish the clock hands were at lunchtime so I can come up to eat. You should really move the clock hands to lunchtime. I think that'd be a good idea. That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen.
That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen.
That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. A rabbit dad and a mouse clocksmith. What's next? A fish playing the tuba? Patches! Are you down here? And now I'm inside a giant clock. No one's ever going to believe this.
As the girl exits the foot of the clock, she finds herself in a dimly lit glade. Up ahead, an argument is taking place. This is our campfire, you repulsive, disgraceful half. Oh, gee, I was just asking for directions. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts said that you're the reason there hasn't been a party here in days. And if the Queen said it, it must be true. So it's your fault, half. Yeah. Now, where was I before we were so rudely interrupted? Ah, yes. We were discussing my brilliant plan to win over the affections of the Queen of Hearts. The one where you marry her? Is there any other? Ever since I was a young boy, I would spend hours gazing at her poster on my wall. For I am the one and only member of her fan club, and she is my one and only love. Yeah! How? I thought I told- Oh, you're not that half. But you're still interrupting. Can't you see we're busy? Hey, sorry to bother you with this, but my pet Patches ran away. Have you seen her here? Your pet? It wasn't this rabbit, was it? It fell from the sky. <laughs> pet barbecue. Yeah. Uh, no. Patches is a... You know what? Never mind. I'll keep looking. Now, back to the matter at hand. Yes. Yes, I will become a king. Truly then, the queen will realize we are destined to be together. Be a king? How are you gonna do that? Just leave that to me. Hey, are you okay? Oh, I really want to deck that guy. He's been a real pain in my ace. What were you guys arguing about? Well, you see, I'm what's known as a half. A four and a half, to be exact. My mom was a five, and my pop was a four. And, well, you can do the math. Anyhow, ever since the Queen of Hearts took over this place, she's been turning everyone against us halves. Every problem is our fault. Taxes go up, blame the halves. Cloudy sky, that's our fault too. Next thing you know, she'll be blaming us for her dumb cat running away. It's got to the point where I don't have a single friend anymore. But, hey, you seem nice. Do you want to be my friend? No, thanks. Oh, uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I just want to find my pet and get back home. I'm going to be late for something. I'm having a hard time remembering. <laughs> 